everyone, Ryan Young, Kama Jiu Jitsu. I hope you're doing well. We got a question that I think is a very relevant question. And based on the comments that we get in a lot of our videos, most people that watch our videos are white belts. And you're trying to learn Jiu Jitsu at the academy. At the same time, you're trying to devour some content on YouTube or, you know, some of us, uh, some of you go to our website, kamajujitsu.com to to devour our curriculum and our curriculum videos, which are fantastic, by the way. Uh, Master Dave is as good an instructor as you'll possibly get. And the fact that he teaches Hicks and Gracie Jiu Jitsu, even better. But what should you as a white belt know? That is easy. Now, for some of you that are at schools that don't do self-defense and just do sport jujitsu um, or submission grappling, then do you need to know the self-defense? I say you should, but if your school doesn't teach it, then you're not gonna learn it at your school. But you still will progress through the belts um, at your school, but in our view, you just won't have as complete a knowledge of jujitsu if self-defense um, and being able to protect yourself in a fight is really what you're looking for. If you're just looking for, uh, you know, camaraderie and having a guy to hang out with and be in great shape and want to do a tournament once in a while, then uh, then that's then that's fine. And the self-defense stuff, eh, maybe you don't need to know it so much. But uh, what you do need to know is all this right here. So what is all this? This is what we call the Kama Jiu Jitsu Ladder. Now, it, it could be called something else anywhere else. Um, some schools don't even have this, but you as a white belt who's a savvy um, devourer of content off of YouTube and you come to all the Kama Jiu Jitsu videos, you're gonna learn something that maybe uh, other people don't know. So these things you need to know. Now, what is it? Simply, you need to know how to get out of the mount class of positions. So that would be mount, seat belt, side mount, and as we call it, worst position, which is face down, his hooks are in and you're you're on the ground between him and the ground, um, and your legs are up in the air. Um, you're also going to need to know how to get out of cross side. Uh, sometimes it's called side control, right? Uh, it just depends on the school you're at. Uh, same thing, what we call side mount, some people call it tactical mount, right? Um, knee on belly, quesa, modified quesa, north south, right? You're going to need to go out and get out of those. That's what we call the cross side class of positions. So, mount class, cross side, this is all defense, right? This is how to get out of stuff, and then pass guard basically how to get out of somebody's guard, right? And then you flip that over and then you have the offensive side. You're gonna then need, know how, need to know how to play guard, how to play north-south, modified quesa, quesa, knee on belly top, and cross side. So you need to know how to play the cross side class, but from the top, just like you have a guard class, you have play guard and pass guard, right? So you've got mount class underneath, cross side class underneath, uh, pass guard, play guard, cross side class on top, and then you're going to need to know how to play, as we call it, best position, which is the opposite of worst position. You're going to need to know how to play seat belt, how to submit somebody from the back. Uh, side mount or technical mount and how to submit somebody, how to control people and mount. Right. So this is the bare minimum of what you need to know as a white belt. Now, when you start in as a white belt, are you going to know it? Absolutely not. But you're going to need to know all of this eventually. Now, if you're a blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt, whatever, and you don't know this, you better get caught up, right? Find out, you know, from your instructor how to deal with these positions. Okay? Everybody does it a little different, right? So our modified case of escape might be different from yours. Our mount escape might be different from yours, right? It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Every school has their own curriculum. And, you know, not everybody comes from the same line of jujitsu as we do, you might come from a different line that does things a little different, right? Now, at some point you can say, well, it's all Gracie jujitsu. Well, yeah, but you know, one Gracie, another Gracie, another Gracie, you know, as they progress through their jujitsu, they may find some switches that make things a little bit better for them, right? And, you know, same thing with Hickson. You know, Hickson has innovated, modified, changed a lot of things that was taught to him by Elu Gracie and even his brother Halls, right? and his brother Horian, who also taught him. And he's done things that, that make it work better for him, as well as, you know, hopefully his students like us. So take all these down and go through your checklist. Do you know every one of those? Or as you learn them, check them off, check them off, check them off. Whatever you learned in your class or whatever you learned from your private instruction, check them off once you know it 
and then just go through and check them off again. Once you check them all off, go through and go through the list again and check it off again. Now, some of you may add some other things in here as a white belt. We don't add it until later on. You know, we don't have, for instance, we don't have half guard in white belt. We don't have uh, foot locks, heel hooks, knee bars, wrist locks in the white belt stuff. Uh, that comes later on in the journey. But your school, you know, if you ask your instructor, you give them this list and say, what of these do I need to know? He may look at it and go, all of it. Or he may look at it and go, oh, okay, take this out, take this out, take this out, and let's put this instead. That's fine too. Right? But start with this as your base, and from there you go on. Anyway, I hope that kind of helped you guys kind of figure out as a white belt what you need to know. Because I know that a lot of you, you do have these questions. And I had them as well when I was a white belt. I had them as a blue and as a purple belt. I'm like, what, am I, what do I need to know? Right? Here it is. Now, will you, will you move on from any of these once you're past white belt? Absolutely not. Right? You're going to have to know all these. Why? Because this is just basic grappling. Right? And how to get out of stuff, how to protect yourself, how to, how to get to a better position. Right? So if you want more information, feel free to visit us at KamaJujitsu.com. Sign up for your free trial and go ahead and check out all that we have available on the free trial membership. If you like it and you want more of it, then sign up for the regular monthly memberships. And that's where you'll get our entire curriculum, how we do each of these things. We've got white belt. Uh, our white belt curriculum is in there. Our blue belt is almost in there. And uh, Dave's currently working on some of the purple belt stuff, uh, as well as what we call our class notes section. And what that does is it kind of shows, okay, well, you know, it might be a knee and belly um, variation that is not in the curriculum, but we'll show it in our, in our class notes. So these are what our academy members get. And it, it's very hard to put everything that what our academy members are exposed to onto a website like this, only because of the logistics of filming everything. But as far as the basic stuff that everybody needs to know in our studio, it's all on there for you. Right? For you, you can be anywhere in the world. You can be in India, in, in Australia, and we have members, online members all over the place. And you know, our goal is to spread the word of uh, Kama Jiu Jitsu or Hicks and Gracie's Jiu Jitsu so that uh, we can, you know, everybody else can see it because as we all know, Hicks and Gracie didn't teach very many people. And it's a shame. So here we are. Anyway, thank you for reaching out to us and clicking on our video. If you like it, and you made it this far, please hit the like button. And if you think it's useful to somebody else, please share it. Don't be, uh, don't be stingy with it. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Anyway, if you want to join us, comment Jiu Jitsu online. Take care. Happy training. Bye now.